can you do a video on suspensory ligament injuries, please? <laughs> okay. So I think, did we do bow tendons last time? I don't know if it was last time, but we've definitely we've talked about them. Yeah. So there's, they're related because they're both soft tissue, connective tissue. The tendons are the, are the structures that connect muscles to bones, and the ligaments connect bones to bones. So they're related. Um, when they, when we're talking about the suspensory ligament, ligament easy for me to say, mm -hmm. in, in particular, uh, we'll talk about the location first. So it's on the leg between the knee and the ankle or the, the hock and the ankle. So lower limbs of all four legs. And it's the tissue that butts right up against the cannon bone. So if the horse is facing this way. So it's from the outside, you have your skin, your superficial digital flexor tendon, your deep digital flexor tendon, and then the suspensory. What that means is it's not as easy, especially on the hind limb, to image. Mm -hmm. So our imaging choices are, you know, x-rays, um, ultrasound is, is pretty, is good, but not as good as with, with tendons. Um, they're, they're looking now at maybe MRI is the best way to hmm. categorize the original injury and then follow the progression. And you can now do standing MRIs yes. with just sedation and not need general anesthesia. So that's kind of why they're thinking maybe this imaging tool is now becoming appropriate for this. Um, I was going to say I have good news and bad news. Well, the good news is that if you catch this early and get right on it with some modern um, medical management treatment, the forelimb suspensories, uh, they take longer than tendons, because last time, remember, we did the, the, the number of legs. Yeah, leg, right, so words. bone was four, tendon was six, and ligaments, what, eight? Yep. So they can take nine months to a year to heal, but that's, if it's an acute uh, front limb suspensory, you've got a chance. I want to read something. Acute hind limb proximal suspensory desmitis is much worse. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thirteen percent were sound and in full work at six months, mm. and the prognosis for the chronic hind limb cases approaches zero percent. Mm. Now, don't give up all hope, but do involve your vet right away. They're they're challenging. You know, the cardinal signs of inflammation or the car the, the signs of this kind of lameness are heat, swelling, and pain. Except that. With the suspensory being so deep, you kind of you always don't get that swelling, mm -hmm. so you can't depend on the limb being big and swollen as like oh got to call the vet. Sometimes the only clinical sign is the horse isn't performing as well as he used to. Mm -hmm. One of the risk factors for um, a pulled suspensory is advanced dressage training. Mm. So if you have a horse that does a lengthen or medium or extended trot and then they can't or they don't want to, that should make you think that maybe I should have the vet out. And so it's, it can be as subtle as that and you have to get on it to give your horse the best chance of recovering from it. I will say, Newman had a pull suspensory back when he was five. Wow. Yeah, and that That's was so what I saw. Ago. Yeah, and he's 17 now and he has not only returned to full work the same level but went up. So I got right on it and managed it appropriately and um, did everything my vet said, and he's back to working. So there is hope, and his was front limbs, so I had a better chance. The hind limbs are, boy, they're tough. They're yeah. really tough. So I hope this person does not have one in their horse. But Yeah, I mean, it was just a request for a video, so we true, don't know. True, true, we don't know. So hopefully we addressed all the questions that you had.